<laughs> All right. Um, at the top, wait, both allies. All right. I guess this is Kiwi playing as orange allies at the top, and at the bottom we have Lawnmaker playing as again the greenish allied. And I did not say Terran. Hell yeah. Barracks are coming up from both players here, and dogs are going to be uh, out soon, and they are going to bark at each other till the death. And let's see if that's going to happen. No, the, one of the dogs take a detour, while one of the other dog is going to die into a peacekeeper. Almost, almost, almost. Close, close call. And we see a double racks here from uh, Kiwi. Maybe he's going to do the triple racks I've been talking about. Triple racks on this map is how I beat Dwelf. Well, I beat him for a while with the three racks until he actually saw I was doing three racks and then he did it as well and then I kept losing again. Um, so on this map, um, it's all about the middle, really. It's all about the middle. It's gonna be MCV here, MCV here, turret here, airfield here, and it's gonna be a stalemate. So... Um, yeah, it's, it's, this map is very slow, and it's just all about who gets the third refinery up first, and then tier 3, so you can get Athena cannons, and then push your opponent back. And it seems like Longmaker actually getting way ahead. I have no idea how... Well, I guess it's because he only opened with one barracks. So he's actually... Wow, Kiwi is not... Oh god, this is... Why I'm, <laughs> I'm sad for Kiwi is because if he does not get the walls up, a very quick you know, ambush from this bridge can easily rapify these two refineries. Because you need a th third refinery on this map. If you do not get a secure third refinery, you're going to die in a matter of minutes. And we see an engineer coming out here. Two engineers, actually. And one engineer is going for the old egg over here. And we see some PKs coming... What is it doing? Alright, I guess I'm just gonna scout. And and this is what I was talking about, the MG turret in the middle. It outranges garrison garrisons, so well, you know, if you don't, you know, MG turret push back, there's nothing gonna do. Yeah, it's, it's very unusual. I think it's because Kiwi is um is uh, I I guess not used to allies. He is very. He's doing some weird expansions here. Alright, so a lot of PKs here. From Maker and. I, I, I don't see Kiwi winning this. Like, at all. Right now, Maker is just gonna go on the offensive and expands towards. <laughs> Down, go at least one, maybe? No? Whoa, it's gonna be close. A very nice pick off here from uh, Kiwi, though. I mean, if he doesn't get a further from. Oh, he is gonna get a third from here. Very nice here. Uh, well, well f uh, this patch is very old. I think it's actually, you know, a year and a half old. So, you only p been playing this patch, it's actually not that bad. Uh, they have not patched this game too much. Anyway, back to the game. We see some empty, uh, empty turret here just picking away the last garrison structure here from uh, Kiwi. And <laughs> look at this force. This is Kiwi's. This is definitely gonna rape. But yeah, w meanwhile, I've completely missed this. Sorry. <laughs> A very nice backdoor here from, uh, from Kiwi. He is just. He is keeping himself in the game by killing. When did you leave the game? Oh wait, I, I'm oh, sorry. I'm getting confused. All right. Meanwhile, that was going on. Um, a, a, a terrific A move here came in from A Maker, Law Maker. Uh, just well, if this main base goes down, it is indeed game. Um, I don't see Kiwi protecting this at all. So this backdoor. Rush here, or whatever it was, backdoor job from <laughs> backdoor job from uh, Kiwi was pretty good, even though that was pretty good. I mean, he he can't do anything without refineries, you know. 
and there's this game, there's no way you can do stuff. You see a Kiwi trying to kill the, <laughs> the, the last ref refinery here in the main base of Maker, but again, Box is not allowing him to. And some PK fighting here uh, is going on, and MCV is going to get pulled into the fray. And what Kiwi should do is get one PK in this IFV and then, you know, just drive close to this infantry and... Whoa, okay. What just happened? Seems like Kiwi just obliterated all Maker's peacekeepers. And right now, they're on even terms. Oh, nope. Maker just got his second refinery up. And that is what I think is going to be the winning, you know, part for Maker right here. Um... Also, he has, uh, you know, press. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa! Peacekeeper, unshield and kill this. <laughs> no. Wow, Kiwi with one single javelin solely is gonna stop this prospector from being able to expand here. But the PK is gonna jump out from here, and if Maker reacts fast enough, he's gonna kill this javelin soldier and make sure that he is gonna be able to. Oh my God! The javelin soldier even gets this peacekeeper. That means no expansions in the main base is going to go on for Maker. Meanwhile, we see IFVs with PKs, and um, they do so much damage towards infantry. And the range of the pushback, you know, uh, if you have played Regular 3 before, you know when a Peacekeeper is close to another infantry unit, it pushes it pushes its back. Not pushes its back, but it pushes it back. Like, they fall backwards. <laughs> and uh, with uh, the IFV, PK. Uh, it, the range of that is so much greater. A crybeam goes down, and a crybeam goes down on one of Kiwi's refineries, and it's gonna stop this prospect from mining for quite a while. But again, I don't, I don't think that uh, Maker should throw away units like that. He should wait till he had a good amount of units and then strike. Seems like an and a Riptide snipes the frozen prospector here from Kiwi. A very nice move by Maker. And I think, you know, I mean, if if Kiwi, you know, gets a few more multigun turns up and even an airfield again, and is able to hold this position, he's actually blessed with another uh, refinery spot here, where Maker is stuck on two, but he is gonna move out now. He's gonna save his prospect from this annoying riptide here from Kiwi. And I think multi-gun turrets is gonna go down soon. And we're gonna see a good old-fashioned multi-gun battle. And we see, wow, this heroic javelin soldier being able to shoot down the refinery from this position. This is absolutely huge from Kiwi. This is what is gonna make him win the game. Kiwi, on two refineries, able to take out Megas, both, both of Megas refineries right now. That is absolutely huge. It seems like that Maker is able to save his last refinery, but Maker having this huge advantage in the start of the game and now just losing it. It's amazing. It's like the first game, like no, I mean the second game all over again. And wow, I I, I don't know what to say. Uh, Javelin Soldiers is gonna make quick work of these. You know, Guardian tanks and Kiwi, you have like peacekeepers standing here. I guess you don't even need them. <laughs> I mean, this is. It, Maker is in a tough position right now, a very tough one. I mean, if really. Alright, GG for Maker. Seems like Kiwi taking the game series 2 1 with an amazing comeback in two games. I gotta I got give it to Kiri. That's impressive, impressive play. He shows that he can both play Soviets and Allies.